What's up Jack, it's Ray Mason here. Today I'm telling you all another good story. One I forgot to tell you about. And this is literally how I saw a field, like a field caught on fire. And how it was bad. So yeah, um, I'll sit back, relax, and let's begin. Um, the story takes place a long time ago. This is really, really a long time ago. I was just a little kid. And I was just um, doing normal stuff, and I was technically still going to school. Well, I can say the name, but I remember just chilling, doing my new school thing, and my mom. Uh, I, okay, I don't know how did this happen. It must have been like um, some jerk must have lit a stick. And just threw it in the ground and the whole thing kind of far or it must have been so hot outside because this is really probably take place like in the summer i can't remember when but it was probably so hot because the sun it was stinking hot it must have caught that on fire it could be any of those two ways but yeah um i was just sitting here minding my own business just not my own business but just doing my own thing just playing some games watching youtube and stuff and I, I just don't know when I was doing. I was just probably doing my own thing. I was going outside, just at the backyard, probably doing my own thing, probably. And I saw this huge, like, plume of smoke, just hanging over the dresser. I was like, okay, something got caught on fire. And I went back inside, and nothing about it. It's probably like something can happen. And I went back downstairs to my room play some games and then my mom told me she came downstairs to my room and she goes John get in the car you gotta see it I was like what is it like something bad something's happening in the field next to us and and we my mom I got dressed but my mom told me that I got dressed and she took me to uh, the field if you guys don't know, I live in a nice neighborhood, in my neighborhood, it's, okay, so, there's like a field where you head up, there's like a street that's going this way, this way, uh, there's a field, like a huge field, uh, it's not technically a field anymore, because right now, there's like a new bunch of apartments now, but back then, there was just a big, enormous field, and, um, yeah, there was a big field, and there was also, like, like schools and stuff, like apartments was there. And the other way is just, like, other stuff. And Mom was driving me there. I got in the car with Mom, and she was driving me there, and we saw the big human smoke again. And we got closer, and we turned around, and what I saw, the whole field was on fire like the whole thing was covered and it was like coming hey, there was it couldn't okay it was like stopping right there because there was a concrete there there but it was just enormous you could literally see like the i don't know it's like that little thing where it just gets hot and you see like weird like blurry thing but it was literally on fire huge plumes of smoke was going on and i was like Oh my god, God, what is happening? I saw a bunch of fire, fire trucks, trucks were coming here trying to put this in. And I was like, what the hell is happening? And I wish I had a photo right now on my phone. If I have, have my old phone, if mom had a video about it on her phone, if I had, if, not that, if I actually had this phone right now, I could seen the video i would have literally show you guys a footage of that happening but it was a long time ago and i didn't even have this phone on but yeah yeah huge plume of smoke was going on the whole thing caught on fire and after they find part of it it was just a big black it was just burnt and it was right next to the apartments in this and uh, some schools there schools there and i was like holy shit the whole thing would have caught on fire or smoke but yeah, every day, day I keep seeing that, I just, it was just burnt, burnt. 
and I think a couple of months later, I saw another, it was like a small poke, small field caught on fire, and then another time, we saw like, other parts caught on fire, but there's like a, like a barn, barn right next to us, but that way, another field like that over there got caught on fire, like I seen, I witnessed so many fields getting caught on fire, but, uh, yeah, hope you all, all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you do. Go subscribe to your boy Ray Amazing. And if you like podcasts, go to go to Spark of Liberty, me and my best man Mel Rhino. Oh, uh, post some awesome podcasts there. All of y'all hope you all enjoyed this video. Ray Amazing, sign out. Peace, dragons.